Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve the problem B from the weekly contest 388. First, let's understand the problem. So before going into the problem, I want to say that you have tried the problem at least for 25 minutes. So if you did not solve the problem and you came directly to the solution part, then please go ahead and try to solve the problem because if you do that only, then only you can improve your problem solving skills. If you are mostly dependent on video solutions, then you are never going to improve the problem solving. So please follow that. Now you are given an array happiness of length n. This is my happiness of length n and a positive integer k. Okay, and this is my k. You are there are n children standing in a queue where the i child has a happiness value of happiness of i. There are n children standing in a queue. So these are my children standing in a queue, and everyone has a some sort of happiness value. You want to select k children from the n children in k turns. You can take k children in k turns. In each turn, when you select a child, the happiness value of all the children that not been selected till now decreased by 1. He is saying that suppose if I am taking one child, some I am taking the child C. And all happiness of B, A and all the remaining child happiness will be decreased by 1. So they will get disappointed, right? So he is saying that that's why their happiness will get decreases. Note that the happiness value cannot become negative. That means if my happiness value is 1 and in the first time I did not pick it, so it will become 0. And if you hadn't picked it, then it will go to minus 1. He is saying that it will not go to minus 1. It will stay at only 0. It get decremented only if it is positive. We need to return the maximum sum of happiness values of the selected children you can achieve by selecting k children. So we need to return the maximum sum by selecting the k children. Okay. So if I want the maximum maximum sum maximum sum of happiness what I can take so I want to take the maximum happiness value first right because every time we are decreasing minus 1 that means every other element except the maximum every other element will be decreased by minus 1 that means we are not dependent on that because everyone is decreasing so we are not depending on the remaining elements so I will take the first max then I'll take the second max minus 1, it will be. And then the third max minus 1. Till kth max, this is minus 2, minus k. So these, these are th sort of happiness because first time it will be, um, the happiness will be minus 0 and the second time it will be 1, third time it will be 2, so on till k, it will decrease till k. Okay, to select the maximum value, what you can do? So first I will use the sorting. So I will sort my array into the ascending order, ascending order. So first it will be minimum, but I will start iterating from the left side because I personally feel ascending order is a good one and iterating from the back makes me a bit happy because there will be no edge scenarios. So I will start iterating from the back. It's dependent on you whether you want to start from the front or back. You can sort it in descending order. You can use greater int in C++. Greater int. You can use this and you can sort and you can start from the beginning. So first I will sort it. Okay. These are already sorted. So it will be first iteration. It will be 1, 2, 3. And I have 2 children. First I will take 3. Okay. 3. Then I will take 2. 2 minus 1. That means 1. So total my happiness will be 4. Right. So you can see here 4. Now here, what three, four ones, one, 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 one. So there are k is equals to two. First, I will take the happiness value of this one. Okay, I got one. And I can take one more. But these all become zeros, right? Because every one has decreased, so it will be only one. So here, two, three, four, four and five. k is equals to one. I can directly take five. And I can take only one children, so it will be only five. And the remaining array is, so is everyone, everyone is decreased by 1, right? So that's why it's showing 1, 2, 3. So what you can do here? First, I will do the sorting. Sorting and I will do the implementation part. I think you have got it. So if you understood the logic, please, please try to code yourself. So if you are not able to code, then you can watch the coding part. So in this way, right? If you are coding by yourself the logic, then you will think about the logic and you will code. So if you see my code directly, so you will think, okay, this is the logic, this is the code. So I'll directly copy paste the code. So that is not the case, right? So you need to learn how to learn. So these are my happiness dot length and happiness is given till 10 power 8. That means it will go till long long because you can see here 10 power 8 into 
10 power 5 that means it will be 10 power 13 so i can i should take the long long so this is my the solution right so yeah as we seen long long is my return type first i will sort it sort it then my answer is zero and b dot size minus one that means these are all my elements i will start from the back i will start from the back and i will go till the front int c is equal to zero my count initially will be zero because i am using this for the subtraction now if my v of n minus c is greater than or equals to zero that means if you are in this scenario 1 2 3 and k is equals to 2 1 2 3 and my k is equals to 2 in the first case you will take 3 right 3 plus and i will going till k greater than or equals to 0 n is greater than or equals to 0 and in the second iteration it will be 1 right 2 minus 1 2 minus, that means it will be 4 so same thing we are doing here if it is greater than or equals to 0 i am adding into the answer if if it is going less than suppose i am coming from the back if some element if some element suppose i have 3 here and my consider my c is 4 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 which is less than 0 right all other elements towards the left will not be valid definitely it will not, not be valid because this is all my small elements only so here i will calculate answer plus v of n minus c or else i will break or else i will break and i will incrementing the counter every time because minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 needs to be done for every element and n minus minus and we are decreasing the children's as well and we are finally returning the answer if you see here think about the time complex what can be the time complex it will be like n into log n n into log n and we are not using any extra space so it will be like order of one order of one i think you have got it so if you have learned something new from this video please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe if you have any doubts please post in the comments i will help you out thank you